Let's run into HPE and let's talk about their new ProLiant server. It follows a little bit of the VMware theme in what they're really doing. It wasn't just servers, it's, it's about green liking. Yeah, so uh, my thought is that I can cover the server part and you can hit the, uh, the, gr the green like piece. So uh, HPE, as you know it, is a, a very successful infrastructure company, particularly in servers. They do pretty well in storage and networking uh, with the edge networking, but they're particularly solid uh, on, on the compute side. So everybody is wondering uh, what the company will do next. Now, uh, HPE has shifted its strategy from tonnage of volumes to value, which is a coded way of saying higher performance, higher value add, uh, making money. They, they don't participate in the money losing or low margin areas like uh, hyperscale scalar, uh, or even really leaning into some of the um, pedestal uh, servers are out there. But when it comes to racks, uh, HPE is 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 very very strong. And what they came out with on Gen 11 was to come out with a intuitive cloud operating experience. And uh, part of that is GreenLake, but part of that. Are, are some of the tools like HPE OneView uh, to manage the infrastructure, uh, HPE ILO for embedded uh, server management, and then of course uh, GreenLake for compute ops, which I know you're gonna you're gonna talk about. One of the areas that uh, HPE leaned into first across all of the vendors is hardware-based security by having a proprietary ASIC uh, on there as one of the first boot, but essentially uh, doing, a, uh, first of all, secure supply chain, having a silicon root of trust, which you know you and I know is, is super important, processor attestation to make sure somebody didn't put a, a processor into the same socket that isn't supposed to be there, protected firmware, and a protected uh, TPM uh, drive and storage uh, controllers. That's below the operating system line. And I give HP a lot of credit in in leaning into that, and I think it's it's a kind of a testament to where the company does well, which is high, highly regulated and government uh, institutions. But uh, performance, we love performance. You and I love chips. Um, the company is going all in on the new AMD chips that we're going to talk a little bit later. And obviously, uh, they're going to go all in on Sapphire Rapids. They weren't actually allowed to talk about those chips. It was more like, hey, next gen uh, processors. Uh, and of course, um, the first Gen 11 server was based on an ARM based Ampere design, who is very quickly moving up the food chain and making a major impact, in particular, cloud native loads that want single-threaded, reliable performance at, uh, with enough bandwidth to handle all those cores at an acceptable uh, uh, cost. A quick correction, uh, uh, HP hasn't announced a Sapphire Rapids platform yet, but I'm expecting it in the fourth quarter. So good stuff. Um, I'm going to leave the rest uh, over to you, Daniel. Yeah, no, absolutely. There wasn't a ton left there, but I think you hit a, a lot of the key points. And, you know, I think they're making some smart hedging with their chip strategy, with their silicon strategy over at HPE, because I think they want to make sure that they don't keep, don't close any doors, keep up with the newest technology, make it all available. They're also being really focused on that, the, the service offerings. You know, they've expanded their point next services as it relates to the Gen 11. Um, you know, specialized technical experts are going to be there that are going to be able to deliver support within the security constraints. Um, they're also really focused on green linking. I know I use it somewhat as a verb, but the idea now is, you know, there's going to be the opportunity to basically uh, do it at a pay as you go on all these systems. And it's a consumption plan. And that's just at the core of everything that HP is doing right now. I mean, they are legitimately as a company trying to move all of the revenue from uh, prime to consumption. And GreenLake is the path to that outcome. Uh, so that was something they really focused on. If you notice, Pat, when I mentioned the AVMware deal, that was all about VMware for GreenLake. 
We notice these new server offerings. They're making sure that it's basically bundling it with the GreenLake license so that you can quickly get these up on GreenLake and they can add that to that GreenLake number that they're building. So, you know, you hit that tech on its head, uh, on the head, Pat, with this. I think your your whole strategy as it relates to offering AMD, Intel, and ARM is the best of class and best of breed for this current market condition. And the GreenLake and Point Next editions are just how the company continues to execute on its uh, growth of consumption and growth of services, which is super important to all the ITO we 